Hare Krishna, welcome all of you for the Gita Amrita Bindu. We are starting the 11th chapter today, Vision of the Universal Form. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. ಜ್ಞಾನಂಜನಶಲಾಖಯಾ ಚಕ್ಷುಹುವನ್ಮೇಲ ತಸ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ನಮಂ ವಿಷ್ಣುಪಾದಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪೃಷ್ಠಾ ಭೂತಲೆ ಶ್ರೀಮತೆ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವೇದಾಂತ ಸ್ವಾಮಿನಿ ನಾಮಿನೆ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಸಾರಸ್ವತೆ ದೇವೆ ಗೌರವಾಣಿ ಪ್ರಚಾರಿಣೆ ನಿರ್ವಿಶೇಷ ಶೂನ್ಯವಾದೀ ಪಾಶ್ಚಾತ್ಯ ದೇಶಧಾರಿಣೆ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶ್ರೀ ವಾಸಾದಿ ಗೌರ ಭಕ್ತ ಬೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಮೆನಿ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ದಾಟ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಷ್ ದ ದ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಟ್ರೂತ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಕಾಸಸ್ ಅಹಂ ಸರ್ವಸ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭವೋ ಮತ್ತ ಸರ್ವಂ ಪ್ರವರ್ತತೆ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ವಾರ್ ಯು ಸೇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ವ್ಯಾರ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸೇ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೋರ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ದ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ದ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಚುಲ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇನ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಟು ತರ್ಟೀನ್ ವರ್ಸಸ್ ಈ ಸೇಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ದ ಎಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಟೆನ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಹಿ ಸೆಡ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ದ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ದ ಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಎಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ವೆರಿ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ದ ಎಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಟೆನ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಆಟ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸೈ ದಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಶೈನಿಂಗ್ ಆಪೊಲೆನ್ಸಸ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಸಿ ಇನ್ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಪ್ರಪೋರ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಅ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಸ್ಪಾರ್ಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೈ ಸ್ಪ್ಲೆಂಡರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಟು ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಅರ್ಜುನ ದಿಸ್ ಯು ನೋ ಐ ಪರ್ಮಿ ಐ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಕಲಿ ಪರ್ವೇಡ್ ದ ಹೋಲ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಮೈ ಆಪೊನೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಇನ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ರೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸೈಡ್ ಸೊ ದ್ಯಾರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಐಸ್ ಯು ಸಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಿತ್ ಅ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಫ್ರಾಗ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೈ ಸೆಲ್ ಪರ್ವೇಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ದ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸ್ ಈ ಸೈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಡಸನ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಮೀ ಮಚ್ ಎಫರ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ನಾವು ಅರ್ಜುನ ವಿಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟು ಸಿ ದಿಸ್ ಪರ
where Krishna pervades the whole universe and supports the whole entire universe uh, with, in his body. There's one famous verse which says, Shri Krishna Sharanam Samastha Jagatam Krishnam Vina Kagatihi Krishnena Pratihanyate Kalimalam Krishna Jakaryam Namaha Krishna Tasyadikala Bhima Bujago Krishna Sesarvam Vashet Krishna Bhakti Rakhandita Babatume Bho Krishna Tume Vashrayaha So it's a very, very beautiful verse. The very first line says that the, all the material and spiritual worlds are resting in Krishna's lotus feet. They are all sustained by Krishna. And that's what uh, uh, Krishna also says here uh, that I pervade the whole world. Maya tadamidam sarvam jagat abhyakta murtana 9.4, he says. And the whole world is resting in me. Much tani, uh, sarva bhutani. I am pervading the whole world also, and they are also resting in me. And how I pervade? Through these opulences. Uh, as he showed uh, Adityanamaham, Vishnu, you know, Ahamatma Gudakesha. Uh, they has been, he's saying that in this body I am the Paramatma. Uh, similarly, he says, Rudranam Shankras Chasmi. Uh, and uh, like that, many, 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 many opulences, he says. So I pervade the whole world through my opulences and the whole world is resting in me. So, uh, when I, and Krishna said that now, Arjuna uh, thought of one very important question now. In this world, any man can say that, you know, by my order, sun is rising. By my order, you know, wind is blowing. By my order, the rains are coming. And by my glance, the prakriti is acting. Any, any man can claim, is it not true? Now, if you ask him, you say so, but what is the proof? Isn't it? So, if somebody says that because Krishna appears like a 200... Uh, 202-legged and one-face person like you and me. <laughs> Anybody can challenge Krishna that you are saying that you are actually conducting all this thing. But what is the proof? How do I know that the Prakriti is acting according to your will? Eh? Everything is happening according to your will. And how, do, how can I know that all the opulences that I see in this world are all a small spark of your splendor? What is the proof for that? Eh? So, But Arjuna doesn't have that question. Eh? Arjuna is already convinced that whatever Krishna says is true. He has full faith in Krishna's integrity. Uh, but Arjuna wants uh, the other people in the world who may ask such a question tomorrow, after Krishna completes the Bhagavad Gita and goes back to his abode, people may raise doubts. Uh, people, even after Krishna has proven so much, people still people are asking questions, isn't it? So therefore, Arjuna wanted Krishna to show that particular form, uh, universal form as we say. But what is that universal form? All the opulences that he mentioned before, hmm? I am the essence of everything, I am the cause of everything, I am the best of everything, they all are manifested in the one body of Vishwarupa. To put it more precisely, there is nothing in the universe uh, that was present other than in the body of the universal form of the Lord. The whole universe was present in his body. Hmm? All the demigods were resting in his body, all the oceans, all the mountains, all the moving beings, non-moving beings, the Panchamhabhutas, the Sukshma Shariras, then all the Tanmatras, all the Sense Devatas. Everything you can see in the creation, you can name it. When nothing was left out, everything was present in the uh, Vishwarupa Darshan. We showed that. Now, this is not the only Vishwarupa Darshan. Five times Krishna showed Vishwarupa in five different occasions. One is what he showed to Arjuna. Second is what he showed to Duryodhana. Uh, once Duryodhana was foolishly planning to arrest Krishna, when Krishna went as a uh, peace messenger to the palace of uh, Dhritarashtra, Hastinapura. Hmm? So there, when Krishna heard from Satyaki and Kritavarma, they both were on either side of Krishna, the Yadus who went with him. Hmm? So Satyaki told him, it seems that Duryodhana has a plan to arrest you. Hmm? Krishna laughed and said, all these 33 crore devatas together cannot arrest me. <laughs> what are you talking about, this tiny tart Duryodhana? Let us see the fun, mm-hmm. like that Krishna said. And then he went and sat and spoke the Shanti message. But then at one point of time, Duryodhana clapped his hands and called thousands of soldiers. They all came with uh, wires and ropes in their hands and the cage also fell from the top. At that time, Krishna manifested the Vishwarupa, mm-hmm. which was very tall from the earth to the sky. Mm-hmm. And there, uh, God had... Uh, Shank, Jakaragada, Padma and everything, he was shining like thousands of suns. The stars in the, in the sky were falling down in the oceans and the ocean tides were rising very high. Wind was blowing very heavily. And from that particular form, it was such a divine form. 
Arjuna and Balram were coming out of his eyes and Pandavas were arrayed behind. Lokapala was on the shoulders like, uh, like Kubera and Varuna and uh, Indra and Yama and all of them. Huh? And all the other Devatas were showering flowers with uh, folded palms. They were praying to him. Huh? So this kind of uh, effulgent form he showed. Then everybody in the world bowed down seeing that form. And uh, hearing the sounds, uh, even Dhritarashtra requested the Lord for his eyes and Lord blessed him with eyes. Dhritarashtra also saw the eyes. After that he told, let me not see anything else in this world with the same eyes. Please make me blind again, he said. Huh? So then he was made blind again. So this is another second time he showed. But even after the Lord showed his uh, amazing form, Duryodhana still couldn't develop faith. Just think about it. Many people say, if God comes in front of me, I'll surrender. Even after God shows all this, still people don't surrender. They are attached to their own program. Huh? And the third time Krishna showed such a form is in the Mrida Bhakshana Leela, where uh, covered boys went and complained to Yashoda that, that your son Krishna has eaten mud. Hmm. Of course, Yashoda heard many times he stole butter from different homes. She would never bother. She only smiled and uh, left it because she thought that my son will eat butter and get uh, more stronger. <laughs> I have no worry. But then now he is eating mud. She got very worried. She called for her son and Krishna denied flatly. Hmm. He says, am I, I am right in front of your mother. I can open my mouth and show you if you want. Samaksham Pashyate Mukham is saying. He is saying, he saying, Sarve Mitya Bishamsana, all are liars, he is telling about his friends. Mother said, whether they are liar or not, let me see. Even your elder brother is saying that you ate mud. Balaram is saying, your Agraja, she is saying, come here. Then when she is opening the mouth of Krishna, at the time she found all the universes within his belly. Huh? She was like shocked. Huh? What is this? The sun and moon and stars and Jupiter and Saturn, everything is moving within. Whole universe is within his belly. Hmm? So before Yashoda could faint, huh? Uh, at that time, Ashada fell on the ground and prayed to Lord Narayana, protect my child. <laughs> like that. And Krishna closed his mouth and Ashada forgot it. Huh? After that, she treated Krishna normally. This is one time, third time. Fourth time, Krishna showed one of the days when Ashada was uh, keeping Krishna on her lap. Krishna was a little drowsy. He was uh, half, half, semi-closed eyes. You know, when children are about to go to sleep, they yawn, you know. <sighs> Later, Krishna yawned. In yawning, she saw the whole universe in the belly. That time. That means the Lord has the millions of universes within his body. At the same time, he is also inside the one of the universes performing pastimes. That's a great miracle. How he can be inside the universe and all the universes can be inside him. Only he knows. That's inconceivable for us. So in this way, that's the fourth time he showed. And fifth time is a, a time when, when there was one Uttanka sage. Uh, so he was uh, somewhere... Uh, in the forest. So, Krishna was returning to Dwaraka from Hastinapuram. Huh? So, when he was coming, uh, after the Kurukshetra war was over, so the Uttanga Rishi asked him, uh, what happened to the Kurukshetra battle? I heard about it. Krishna told the whole story. Hmm? So, Uttanga says, in the course of discussion with Krishna, he became heated up, he became angry. He said, why you didn't stop the battle? So many people were uh, killed in the battle. So, he said, I'm going to curse you, Krishna, he said. And Krishna laughed and said, cursing? Whom are you going to curse? Huh? Who can curse me? You know who I am? He asked, who are you? Then Krishna declared, I am the Supreme. Then he said, if you really say so, show me your Vishwarupa. He asked. Then he showed Vishwarupa Darshanam. There also to him. Having seen that, Uttanga Rishi immediately fell flat on the ground like a stick and cried tears. And with folded palms, he stood up and offered several prayers and glorification of Krishna from the Shastras. He came back to his senses. He became realized. And then he pleaded him for forgiveness. And then he said, I request a boon of you. He said, give me a benediction that even if I am in a desert, I should not die without water. You may wonder what kind of strange benediction is that. Huh? But uh, it did so happen. Once Uttanga Rishi was going through a desert from one place to another, he was very, very thirsty. There was no water uh, with him. He wasn't carrying anything. At that time, he remembered Krishna. And immediately, a cloud formed in the sky. And it showered down huh? and he drank that water. So now, even today, in deserts, whenever there's a cloud formed, people say it's a you know, Uttanga Varsha, they call it. <laughs> it is a, because Uttanga uh, sought a benediction like that. So for Uttanga Rishi, he showed one Vishwarupa Darshan also. Hmm? In this way, five times Krishna has shown Vishwarupa Darshan. Hmm? 
let us proceed further this is a uh, chapter section so you can see see in the first four verses arjuna is going to request about showing the universal form and then 5 to 8 krishna will describe his universal form so these eight we will cover today and then further we will proceed with the in the next few classes so after hearing uh, all the opulences in the 10th chapter hmm, krishna said that ekam shena sito jagat he said then arjuna wants to see that all pervasive form how is how is krishna pervading the whole world actually we all are saying in this world there are many opulences for example the cuckoos are cooing so sweetly hmm? you can you can see there are very colorful birds like the peacocks which have the beauty huh? cuckoo has sweetness in voice peacock also sings sweetly but more importantly it has beauty huh? similarly um, and uh, the dogs are able to sniff the eagles are able to see long distances horses are able to run very fast huh? every uh, creature you will find uh, it is endowed with some kind of special ability which is not present in everybody else huh? you will find that similarly you will find somebody has strength uh, body builders huh? and somebody has sharp intelligence somebody is a very good singer somebody is a very good eloquent speaker you will find somebody is very influential they influence millions of people and they shake the masses like that so you find uh, both human beings and other creatures in this world have some opulences with which they inspire the people of the world and they become very outstanding they stand out from the society so we have seen such opulences spreaded out in the world everywhere but krishna says it is me Uh, who is actually pervading the whole world with all these opulences but how do we know that the one single person standing in one place krishna he is the source of all these opulences huh? so let the whole world see arjuna thought that all these opulences are actually coming from krishna and they are resting in krishna hmm? he wanted to uh, the example is given by krishna's kaviraj goswami the mud is taken from the earth and then you make a pot and you burn the pot after it is dried you keep it on the earth only <laughs> similarly the opulences emerge from krishna they are manifested to the living entities and all the living entities rest in krishna only so therefore arjuna wanted to see that all pervading form so i am going to show you all the the eight verses now here uh, what arjuna is saying he is saying moho yam vigato mama my illusion is dispelled he will say that first shuto vistara show maya uh, because i have heard about yourself krishna very elaborately i am very convinced द्रष्टुम इच्छा ते रूप नव ई विश्व सी योर यूनिवर्सल फॉर्म मन्यदे मन्यसे यदि तत्शक्यम मैं द्रष्टुम प्रभो मै डी लॉर्ड इफ यू फील दैट ऐल बी एबल टू विथ होल्ड दैट फॉर्म ऑफ यूनिवर्सल फॉर्म यू विश्व शो देन यू शो मी अदरवाइज नॉट दस अवरी हम्बल स्टैंड सो हियर प्रभा द एक्सप्लेन इन इज पर्पोर्ट्स सी दर फोर पॉइंट्स आर मेन्शन दियर अर्जुन वॉन्ट्स टू रेवील कृष्णा रियालिटी फॉर हूम नॉट फॉर हिमसेल्फ ही आलरेडी सेड sarvam etat dridam manye enma madhikesha whatever truth you told me krishna i totally accept it without any suspicion or doubt for him there is no need of vishrupa he wants to show the reality to the people of the world who always doubt krishna as per the verse 9.11 avajananti mam mudha like that second point he says that um, krishna uh, i mean arjuna can easily already see krishna in the 200 form that is called prema chakshu now for seeing the vishwarupa krishna has to give a demotion of his eyesight why because for example prime minister's mother you know sister brother they all see him with eyes of love as a blood relative correct no but if they have to see him in the prime minister's position it is not very easy for them hmm? because when they come to parliament that they will get to see hmm? on a independence day how he is getting respect how many soldiers are saluting how there is a shower of flowers on him you know how he is welcomed with welcome bouquets or whatever on that day or whatever isn't it so they may see the kind of salute that is given by all the three defense uh, people like uh, army navy and air force huh? isn't it so the relatives of the prime minister come they'll be stand are at home is a simple person here you see what kind of treatment is given to him so for uh, actually in the same manner for arjuna to be coming from prema chakshu to divya chakshu which is celestial eyes huh? krishna will give him a special type of sight arjuna needed to downgrade his vision to see the universal form huh? whereas conditioned souls for them to see this form you have to upgrade their vision huh? but krishna it has to downgrade third he says those who claim that their god must show universal form to prove that claim arjuna thought tomorrow what if some other ordinary man comes and says 
I am moving the sun, I am moving the moon. You know, all these opulences are coming from me. If somebody claims, anybody can claim, no. Huh? Therefore, Arjuna wanted a test you know, for anybody who claims to be God. The Arjuna, I mean, Krishna will pass this test by showing the display in his own body. Millions of heads, millions of hands, millions of legs. And all the opulences, what he spoke in the earlier chapters are all manifested in his body. So, that form, Arjuna wanted it to be shown to the world. So that in future, nobody can, uh, you know, try to claim to be God. Like Prabhupada says, saints and swindlers. Swindlers are those who are cheaters, who claim to be God. Prabhupada used to say, if, you, if somebody claims to be God, they are nothing but a dog, used to say. So, therefore, Arjuna wanted it to... Uh, be shown to the people of the world. And then secondly, lastly, he says, a pure devotee in transcendent loving relationship with Krishna is not attracted to the universal form. Even Arjuna was not attracted to universal form because Prabhupada calls it as a godless display of opulences. He says, why he says that a devotee as the Lord is never attracted to this huge form of the Lord because in this form you cannot serve. For example, if universal form you have to um, stitch clothes for him and you know, all the textile mills will run out. If you have to cook for him, all your grains, fruits, cereals, whatever you have in this world will be exhausted. Everything will be finished. If you have to make a temple for him, that's not possible by us. <laughs> Is it not true for universal form? But when the same Lord comes in his 200 form or a Saumya Rupam, as we say, beautiful, pleasing form, then Arjuna can deal with him like a friend, you know, and a, a covered boys can deal with him like a friend. Uh, and other uh, creatures, uh, monkeys and deers and peacocks, they can deal with him like a master. Uh, they can deal like that. Uh, and then the gopis can deal with him like a lover. Yashoda can deal like a son. That is only possible when he is in a saumya form. One important point to note, Krishna standing in front of Arjuna in the battle. When Arjuna made this request, from Krishna's body emerges the whole Visharupa. Uh, later on, he shows a 400 form. Then he comes back to his 200 form, the original form in which he was standing before Arjuna. So the last verse of this chapter, Prabhupada says in purport, all these different forms of Vishwarupa and Chaturbhuja Rupa, 400 forms, they are all coming from one form. Which form? Krishna's form. Therefore, Krishna is a Adi. Krishna is the source of everything. We should be very clear about that. There should be no ambiguity in that. Hmm? Because some people, especially impersonalists, they propagate that Vishwarupa is the actual God, and Krishna is one of the incarnations of Vishwarupa. <laughs> like that they present, which is absolute uh, uh, blunder mm, they commit. Because they are attracted to which form? Vishwarupa form. This kind of big display. But Bhaktas are never attracted to that form. And another important thing, this Vishwarupa form, what is it? It is the display of all the material opulences of the material world in one particular body of the Lord. And this form is not permanent. This is only temporarily displayed and immediately it is withdrawn by the Lord. That's one thing. Second thing, this form doesn't exist in the spiritual world. Which form? Universal, Universal form doesn't exist. But Krishna's 200 form exists in the spiritual world. That should be known. Uh, so, and also, this form is simply shown by Krishna to Arjuna and to the other devatas also to help them know how he is sustained in the universe in himself. Uh, so the, then they will understand the real position of Krishna. For that sake he showed Otherwise, this is not a form you can relate with, you can uh, develop relationship with uh, in any of the rasas. Therefore, Prabhupada calls it as a godless display of opulences, he says. So, and then Krishna is showing the Pashyame Partha Rupani, he is showing his form. Bahuni uh, Adrishta Purvani, so he is showing his form. So, then he will show Vishwarupa Kala Rupa, that will come in the later, these things. So, now I will go to directly 1 to 8 verses, now we will cover now. So, yeah. Arjuna Bhuvacha Madanugrahaya Paramam Guhyam Adhyatma Sangitam Yatva Yoktam Vachastena Mohoyam Bigato Mama. See, Mohoyam Bigato Mama. My illusion is still. What is the illusion? You know, earlier he was thinking Krishna is my friend. Now he understands. He is not an ordinary friend or human being. He is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. He is the master of the jivas, master of prakriti, and master of everyone and everything. He is actually the primeval lord from whom all the devatas have come. Aham Adrihi Devanam. Not only that, he is also the source of Mahavishnu, from whom Mahamaya has come. So he is not a 
uh, ordinary jiva like us. Uh, Arjuna became very clear, all his illusion was driven away. Also, Ashochan and Vashotasvam, uh, Krishna told him before, the illusion that I am body, I am, you know, I will go to forest and all that. That illusion is also gone. Arjuna is now very clear about the supremacy of Krishna. Hmm? And that is the first point he says here. Okay. So, in this chapter, Krishna reveals uh, himself as a cause of all causes to establish Krishna's divinity for all. Therefore, Arjuna is requesting. Hmm. Yeah. Baba Pyayauhi Bhutanam Shrutau Vistara Shomaya Tvatta Kamala Patraksha Mahatmyam Api Chavyayam She is calling Krishna as a Kamala Patraksha, one who is lotus eyed one. Because he is feeling great joy after knowing all the facts about Krishna. He understood that I am friend of such a great personality, Krishna. He is very happy. He is the source of all creation, maintenance and destruction. And he has many achintya shaktis, innumerable opulences he has. Yeah, like he says, what is his main achintya shakti? It was explained in 9.4 and 5. Maya tatamidam sarvam jagada avyakta murtina. I am present everywhere in the world, but others can't see me. Abhyakta Murtana means I have Murti, but they can't see me. Hmm? Like a principal soul is in every atom. Can we see him? He is in our own heart. Can we see him? He is hidden from our vision. Huh? In 9.5 he says, still that doesn't pose any burden to me because whole world rests in me, but not directly in me. The whole world rests in my energies hmm? and in super soul. Hmm? So that so Arjuna understood all these things very well. Now he is very pleased and the illusion is gone now. Huh? Yeah. Hmm. Here, Shripad Ramacharya has given a beautiful explanation. He is saying, Sarva Chetana, Sarva Chetana, Ache, Achetana, Vastu Sheshitvam. He is saying, You are the master of Chetan and Achetan uh, Vastus. He is saying, That means the Jivas are Chetan, Jada Prakriti is Achetan. You are master of both. That means you are master of Jiva and uh, Prakriti. Then he is saying, Jnana Baladi Kalyana. Guna Ganaihi Tavayeva para, Parataratvam. He is saying uh, all the six Aishwarya's like knowledge, strength, fame, and all those riches and all that. Uh, you are actually the uh, oceanic uh, repository of all those opulences. Other jivas are carrying some drops from you. Hmm? That's the second thing he says. Then he says Sar, uh, Sarva Adharatvam Chintitam. Nimisha, three things he says. You are the support for everything. You are the ability to think in all jivas also. And even the blinking of the eye, they are not independent in doing that. <laughs> even for that also, they are dependent on the sense devatas, who are ultimately dependent on you, he is saying. Adi sarva pravrittishu tavayeva pravatta yitrutvam ityaditya shrutam. He is saying, you are actually the actuator or mover of even the blinking of the eye of the jiva, or even his thinking, what to speak of other things like evacuating, what to speak of you know, eating food, what to speak of moving, what to, what to speak of taking any actions in this world. Jiva cannot, jiva is totally dependent on you, and you are supremely independent. So, Shiva Ramachari gives these three points to establish the greatness of the Lord. Huh? Yeah, and the seventh uh, is saying, beginning with the seventh chapter, ending with the tenth chapter, all this is explained. Evam yetat yadat. Tatpam Atmanam Parameshwara Drashtam Echamite Rupam Aishwaram Purushottama. He is saying, yeah, that, oh, greatest of all personalities, oh, supreme form, though I see you here before me in your actual position, as you described yourself, I wish to see how you have entered into this cosmic manifestation. I want to see that form of yours, he says. So here, four points proper says in the purport here to establish Krishna's divinity for all, to convince others, you know. Although he doesn't have any personal desire to see that form, to convince others, he says. Uh, uh, yeah, he satisfied Krishna's 200 form itself. Thirdly, to avoid imposters, I told you. Uh, otherwise, they will pose as God, isn't it? Incarnations. And fourthly, um, Krishna is not only speaking theoretically that I am God. Uh, I am the source of material world, I am the source of spiritual world, everything emanates from me. It's not a theoretical thing. He wanted him to show it in his form. So the world will know that there is theory and practical, both. <laughs> Seventh chapter to 10th chapter is theory and 11th chapter is practical. He's showing everything. Yeah. Yeah. And why Arjuna is asking, uh, saying, thinking of these four things? Because he is beginning Parampara now. Sakale neha bhata yoga nashta 
Parant Parampara Parampara got lost. It's going to start from Arjuna. So he wants to make sure that he will hand over a very powerful Parampara down. Huh? Therefore, he is asking these questions. Manya se yadi tachakyam maya drashtum iti prabho yogeshwara tato metvam darshayat manam avyayam. He is saying, just to say, Manya se yadi tachakyam. If you think I have the ability, Krishna, maya drashtum iti prabho, then you give me the vision. Like that he says here. He is asking permission from the Lord to see that powerful form. So, Prabhupada is saying here, you know, it's only by Krishna's mercy. You know, we can see such great form of universal form and everything. Krishna's Yogeshwar, he can give us a Shakti. Sometimes people say, I call God in front of me, after he comes, then I will surrender. Or I mean, people, sadhus teach you that first you surrender, then God will reveal himself. So, which is better? Which should be followed? First surrender, correct, no? But most people say, no, no, no. Why you people uh, ask us to have blind faith? Let God come in front of us. So, then I asked one boy, you go to the airport and say, allow me to fly in the ticket to America, there I will pay the amount. If you say, will they agree? Do you, after landing in America, you pay the ticket for the flight or uh, you pay before? before? Is not blind faith? <laughs> they have not reached you to America, but you are paying now only. So, you can challenge them. He will say, no, 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 if you don't take a ticket, they will not allow. Same thing, unless you surrender to God, he will not reveal himself to you. Is it not true? Hmm? So, that's what Prabhupada is saying. He is pleading, not ordering. Because we are tiny, God is great. Huh? Because He is great, it's in our interest to surrender. Huh? So, then we will be able to get revelation by His mercy. Huh? He says, He has inconceivable power. He, like here you see Him, revealing to Arjuna this form. Similarly, He will uh, reveal everything about Him, if you are uh, humble and simple. Shri Bhagavan Uvacha Pashya Mepartha Rupani Shatashota Sahasrashaha Nana Vidhani Devyani Nana Varna Kriti Nicha So, first Krishna is showing him the form which is described in the uh, this thing, Purusha Sukta prayers. Sahasrashir Shaburushaha Sahasraksha Sahasrapath He had thousands of hands and thousands of feet and thousands of heads. See, if heads are thousand, it should say eyes are two thousand. Hands are how many? Four thousand, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, you should talk like that. Hands and legs are totally four thousand. He doesn't say like that. Everything is sahasra only. He says sahasra shirsha, sahasra sahasra aksha, sahasra. But why it is said like that? It is not exactly thousand. It is thousands. Therefore, it is saying sahasra sahasra. It says uh, somebody may think I am more intelligent. I'll find find in shastra also. I'll find fault. <laughs> so it says sahasra heads. Uh, but uh, Sahasra, eyes also, Sahasra, legs also, that means are unlimited. Arjuna couldn't find where is it beginning, where is it ending, all around it was going all over the universe. Huh? So that kind of form Krishna decided to show him. He's saying, just see how many different colors, how many divine forms are manifesting. Hmm? Yeah. Prabhupada is saying, material nature is manifested and unmanifested, similarly this universal form, not eternally situated in the spiritual sky, as Krishna's form. I told you this point. Huh? Pasha Dityan Basun Rudran Ashvina Umarutastatha Bahuni Adrishta Purvani Pasha Charyani Bharata. So the Lord speaks about this form situated in one place in two verses. Now he is saying, Who are all there? Adityas, Vasus, Rudras, Ashwin Kumara, as I told you, all the devatas are arrayed in his body in that Vishwarupa form. And many, many other wonderful things. Some were seen or heard, some were not even seen or heard before. Here, Sri Padramacharya says here, yeah, hmm, uh, Behold all those things directly perceived in this world and those described in Shastras and also many marvels not seen before in all the worlds and in all the Shastras. Because there are things which are mentioned in Shastra which you can know. Ultimately, Shastras are given by God only. Yeah? There are things which are beyond the Shastras also which is not even mentioned. That also Lord showed because His opulences are unlimited. Hmm. Ihai kastam jagat kritsnam pasyadya sacharacharam mama dehe guda kesha yachanya drashtam ichasi. O Arjuna, what do you wish to see? Behold, at once in this body of mine, the universal form can show you whatever you now desire to see and whatever you may want to see in future. Everything, you know, chara and achara, moving and non moving, it's all here in one place. <laughs> you can see this universal form. Everything is all in one, one place here. Prabhupada says, even the most advanced scientists cannot see what's going on in other part of the universe. The universe is so large, we can't even go to the nearest planets. 
man is sending some mars probe and different probes it's very difficult what is because of the other part of the universe but by krishna's grace ajna is seeing uh, in the the entire universe in one place krishna is giving him the vision hmm. yeah yeah he is saying uh, it's impossible for you to see completely even if you wander within millions of years within the universe that means inside the universe you keep running around you will still be not able to arrive at what is what huh? but i am showing you everything to you he says here नम शक्य से द्रष्टुम अने स्वचक्षुषा दिव्य ददा ते चक्षु पश्य मे योग मैश्वर हियर कृष्ण से दिव्य ददा ते चक्षु ऐम गिविंग यू सेलेस्टलाइज टू सी देवनली फॉर्म कंपोस्ट ऑफ देवता इज नॉट अस्टानिश हियर यू विल सी पर्पज एज हियर नॉट विद द मैंड बट विथ स्पिरिचुअल अर्जुन सा चक्र ठाकुर से by your material eyes you cannot see my pure spiritual form i'll give you the divine eyes see with those divine eyes and here he says here mm. yeah here no, see the top he says pure devotee doesn't like to see krishna except in his true and that form rajna wanted to see it so krishna krishna showed it see one very important thing to understand as you see in the picture here the covered boys of vrindavan in the uh, 12th canto you will find it if you read in the chapters 12 13 14 this these are all pure devotees of krishna who don't even aspire for moksha also they only aspire for prema pumarto mahan beyond the four purusharthas they are lovers of god so they enter the spiritual world goloka where they become very intimate associates in vrindavan so even in dwarka or mathura there is a aishwarya bhava respectful relation with krishna whereas in vrindavan there is a intimate relationship the difference is between a parliament house where mps and mlas salute the prime minister and at home the prime ministers near and dear relatives deal with him very intimately like that in vrindavan so you will find in this place in vrindavan the covered boys are playing with krishna sliding down from the trees gliding down sometimes jumping with the frogs sometimes imitating the cuckoos uh, sometimes catching the shadow of the birds uh, sometimes uh, defeating krishna in the game and climbing on krishna's shoulder sometimes krishna defeats his friends and he climbs on the shoulder like here you are seeing they are all sitting together and eating in the bank of yamuna and krishna takes from their plates and eats it and he gives from his plate to them <laughs> such intimate relationship they are playful um, which is bewildering even to brahma hmm? so therefore one should know uh, uh, here even shukadev goswami is amazed and speaks this verse etam sadam brahma sukha anubhutya dasyam gatana paradaivatena maya shitanam narada arakena sakam vijar hukrata punya punja he says these covered boys must have done heaps and heaps of pious credits to be able to enter into this past times with the lord on an equal level he says on the other hand there are many rishis in himalayas if you see 300 500 uh, years they are doing meditation penances naga naga baba sandha they are doing if you see panta astu koti shata vatsara sampragamyo vayo ratha api manaso muni pungavanam sopyasti yat prapadasim yavichintya tatve गोविंदम आदिपुरुषम तम हम भजा नॉट ओनली टाकिंग अबउट मुनीस मुनि पुंगव मीन लीडर्स ऑफ मुनीस वन वन मुनि लाइक शौनका दृषि हेड एटी थाउजेंड डिसेपल्स अंडर हिम दीज कैंड ऑफ मुनीस बिग मुनीस लिविंग इन हिमालय हू आर इंपर्सन लेस दे आर ओनली शीइंग द शाइनिंग टोन एल ऑफ कृष्णा दे कैन सी बी आंड दैट बट दीज बॉयज हव गॉन इन टू स्पिरिचुअल वर्ल्ड वाट इज बिक ऑफ सीइंग टोन एल दे आर प्लेइंग विद हेम दे आर क्लाइंबिंग ऑन इज शोल्डर्स दे आर ईटिंग फ्रॉम इज प्लेट that equal level lord has given them because of the pure love huh? so he says these are not ordinary souls so they are lovers of krishna playmates of krishna so for them they are least concerned about the aishwarya baba huh? or the reverential form of ishwara upadeshana and all they will say how can you dress him huh? uh, how can you feed him you know if you feed him all your uh, kitchen will be empty in the whole world huh? if you have to dress him all the textiles will be finished huh? so therefore this platform of associating with the lord as an intimate friend is the highest there's nothing beyond that or like krishna's uh, parents like ashoda nanda huh? or radharani and the gopis associating with krishna as lovers and the spiritual world five rasas are there and that is the ultimate there is nothing beyond that huh? so one should enter if one wants to enter into the private personal uh, joyful life with the lord huh? just like prime minister at home i told you huh? not in the parliament then one has to actually adopt the path of bhakti yoga which arjuna adopted Rajuna is satisfied in this type of friendly role with Krishna, but for the world he is asking Krishna to show that form, hmm? so that future people can understand. Uh, so therefore he is asking, and Krishna knows Arjuna has come as Narayan with me, 
you know, he has spiritual eyes, still I will give him celestial eyes, eh? so that uh, heavenly eyes I will give him to see me, he says. Eh? So in this way, uh, I told you the five uh, times he showed the Vishwarupa Darshanam. Eh? This is a summary of, uh, you know, all the verses, you can go through it. Shri Prabhupada ki. Thank you.